Well, in just a few hours, an important first meeting will get underway on how to develop new classroom cell phone policies across the state of Virginia. The meeting comes after Governor Glenn Youngkin issued an executive order calling for cell phone free education. Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez, she's been following this story. She joins us now live from Manassas. Stephanie, good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, here in Manassas, the first meeting happening from 2 to 3.30 this afternoon, just down the street from where we are at Osborne High School. But the Virginia Department of Education leaders, they want to hear from parents, students, grandparents, and educators alike on how to best create and implement this new cell phone free uh, education policy. Now, there are some questions on how it's actually going to be implemented across the state, but already speaking to folks in the area, it does have a great deal of support. I'm a millennial, so my time in the classroom was kind of a mix. We did not have cell phones, and I feel like it is a major distraction, especially with TikTok and Instagram. Um, I think it's also used as a handicap for students when it comes to researching important information. I think it's also an easy way to cheat. Um, so I think that it is creating a critical issue in education at a big level. It's not allowing people to read. It's not allowing people to do math at a certain level because they're using their phones. I have a 13-year-old son, so I've noticed how the cell phone use affects his attention, how it affects his mental health and everything like that. So I think um, in a group setting, it's even more important to limit that so that they can actually receive the information. Now, these two ladies did also agree with an argument that's been raised by other parents that they do want their children to have some kind of access to cell phones in case of an emergency because some parents feel the schools don't always send out notifications on time. But the executive order does also call on the schools to look at their communication protocols as they now work on this new policy. It all comes after the governor, Glenn Youngkin, and issued an executive order directing the State Department of Education to make these changes, citing alarming rates of suicide, anxiety, and depression as more children use cell phones. According to the American Psychological Association, teens are spending nearly five hours a day on social media. Now, today is going to be the first of eight meetings held all across the state. And if you are looking to attend, we're going to have the list for you on fox5dc.com. Draft policy has to be submitted by August 15th. I'll send it back to you.